Hey there internet, I am the PC Goblin. In this video, I wanted to show off the Amplify management software. Now, this is the management software that you're going to use on all of the Amplify equipment. So the Amplify HD, the Amplify Instant, the Amplify Mesh Access Points, the Amplify whatever. This is the software that you're going to use. And with this, I'm going to walk through all the settings and I'm going to talk about every single one a little bit. I'm going to show you where you can set up your PPOE information for if you're trying to get off of your fiber optic provided equipment that, you know, CenturyLink or other providers provide you. I'm also going to be showing you where you can set up port forwarding. I'm going to be showing you where you can pause individual devices or pause your whole network or pause just your mesh point, whatever you're wanting to do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so first things first, if we click on system, this is where we're at. We can see the download, upload, how many clients are connected. Click on amplify. We've got general settings, We've got the device name, time zone, if you want to use 24 hours time. If you hit locate, it flashes a light on the base station. You can change the password, you can reboot it, reset it. For internet, if you have, if you need to enter in your PPOE password and set up VLAN tagging, this is where you're going to do it. So you'll hit network type, choose PPOE or static, you know, depends on the type of internet you have. And then you populate what you need. And then for the VLAN ID, you punch that in, type in 201 or you know, whatever the VLAN is that you need. And then you'll be good to go on that aspect. And set up into bridge mode, set up IPv6. Set up port forwarding right here, just at the plus. Put in the settings that you want. Then of course you've got about support or firmware update, support info. It's gonna grab a big file if you do that. And that's it for that. And connecting to the mesh access point. You can tell it to use an ethernet backbone if that's what you've got. I could set it up that way, but I see no reason to. This way will be superior because when you use the mesh network, so the wireless technology to connect the two, it's gonna eat up some of your radios and bandwidth so that the two can talk to each other so it'll extend it. It's a great idea, it works well, but there are some downsides. So you can pause the mesh point, you can rename it, Turn on the LED, turn it on, turn on night mode so it doesn't keep you awake. And then you can set up a time for when night mode turns off and on. Then locate, same thing, it'll light it up, reboot it, support info. Performance, this is where you go to test it. Guest, you can set up a guest network so it's only active for three minutes, two hours, whatever, however many guests that you want to set it up for so if you have a family of five coming over and you want to make sure they all have access you can set it up for five guests say they're going to be over for three hours boom it sets up the active guest or the amplify guest for three hours they can connect to it they'll have access to the internet after three hours it kills the network if they're still there they won't have access and plus it keeps your network safe and private from any guests that are coming over so there's a lot of good to that you can create the password, the network for that guest, etc. Family, you can go ahead and pause the internet on all of your devices in case your kids are being bad or whatever. You want to make sure you get the full family attention. You can see all the devices that are connected to it. You can quickly go in and just pause the internet to them to that device so they no longer have access. And finally, you got diagnostics. Goes through and checks everything out for you, lets you know if there's a problem anywhere in the system. Well, that's it for this video. I really like making these kinds of videos. They're a lot of fun for me. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment below. I'll try to answer it as much as I possibly can. And if you want to see more of my stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching.